Hey guys, today I am going to get started working on this giant green monster. This very pretty piece of furniture was actually a free roadside find. My friend Paul runs a local irrigation business, so when he's out and about in his truck visiting customers, he often comes across amazing furniture finds. One of his clients had this out at the end of their driveway last week while Paul was visiting, so he scooped it up in the back of the truck and brought it straight over to me. At first glance, this dresser and its gorgeous mirror looks like an antique East Lake piece. But upon closer inspection, I can tell pretty easily that it's actually a reproduction. A few obvious things that give away the age of this piece are for starters, this rounded bull-nosed edge. On an antique East Lake piece, that would be a sharp 90 degree corner. Also, when I open the drawers, they're not dovetailed. Traditionally, if this was an antique piece, these drawers would definitely have a dovetail feature. Another feature that gives away this piece is the fact that the drawers sit proud of the cabinet base. In a traditional antique Eastlake piece, those drawers would sit flush with the front of the cabinet and often have a little more detail. Even though it's a reproduction, it's still a gorgeous and totally solid piece of furniture that holds a lot of value. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it over. My first step is going to be a really good sanding. I wanna get under that original paint finish and see what's going on. So now I've got the whole piece sanded down. I didn't go down to the wood on the whole thing, just where the paint from the original finish was starting to peel and flake off. I don't want that to affect my paint finish once I get it on there. And I did also notice when I was pulling the drawers out that they're a little bit sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and sand smooth these bottom runners on all of the drawers to help them slide a little better too. Now that I've got everything sanded down really well and I've cleaned up all of my sanding dust, I'm gonna go ahead and prime this piece. Now it's not always necessary to prime a piece of furniture that you're painting, especially if you're gonna be using a chalk style or mineral based furniture paint. They're made specifically to go over previous finishes. The reason I'm going to be priming this piece is mainly because it's made with knotty pine. The knots that naturally occur in pine boards are sort of notorious for leaching colors, also known as tannins, back up through painted finishes. I would like this piece to be crisp and white when I'm done with it, so I want to make sure that I encapsulate all of those knots and make sure I don't get any bleed through. This shellac base primer called Bin is my go-to when I'm trying to seal in wood stains. I'm gonna pour my primer out into this little paint tray. I like to line them with foil or an old plastic bag so that when I'm done painting, I can take out the liner and get rid of it. This stuff is really sticky and not fun to clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this primer set up for a few hours before I add any paint. Okay guys, it is the next day. My layer of primer is nice and dry and cured. I'm just gonna go over my whole piece now and sand that to knock down any texture that was left behind by my roller. Now I am all set up and ready to start spraying. I'll leave you guys a link up in the cards and also down in the description box to my HVLP pneumatic spray gun tutorial. I'm gonna just be using a custom blend of a bunch of different brands of white and off-white chalk paints. 
I'm basically just mixing together the bottoms of the cans of everything that I have so that I can start cleaning out the garage for the fall. So I'm really happy with the coverage that I got with just two coats of my white paint over my primer layer. And now I'm ready to seal it all up. I'm gonna use my HVLP spray gun again to apply two coats of this Verithane Diamond Wood Finish in satin. Well, that was fun. Make sure you remember to give this video a big thumbs up and tap that subscribe button for me. I need your help to grow this channel. As always, thank you so much for following along with me today as I painted and had some fun in the garage. I'll catch you guys next time.